Hello lovelies, if you didn't see yesterday's video then this is what I imagine most of the comments are going to be about. My hair, six hours at the hairdresser. If anyone is uh, interested, the colour is high magenta. Um, yeah, because my hair is so dark, it had to be bleached and then the colour put on. And it is a toner so you will see it gradually fade and then get put back on. So there will be kind of like subtle fluctuations in the exact colour of my hair. Um, but when I'm wearing a mask and sunglasses, picking up my kids from school, it's really, really easy for the teachers to work out who I am now. And I like this colour. Um, it is a bit more fun, it is a bit more interesting. And having this done is slowly making me feel a bit more like myself. Um, so if you didn't see yesterday's video, it was all about um, the stationary side of the business, which is a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. But what you are here in this video to see is all about the exam board questions. So when exams were cancelled way back in January now, feels like a different lifetime ago, um, good old Gavin talked about about the exam boards providing externally set assessments to help teachers decide what grades to give you. Because all of your grades this year are being decided by your centres, by your schools, not just by your individual one subject teacher. There's gonna be a lot of people that have input and discussion into this. It's not solely one teacher's decision, your grade. Um, but Gavin suggested that exam boards provided externally set assessments to help your teachers determine what grades they are. Now the difference between externally set assessments and exams to some people is the difference between scone and scone. Um, and anyone um, who worked in education immediately saw this as a truly, truly awful and terrible idea. Um, I made a really long video about it um, ages and ages ago when the idea was first floated around. I'll link it. I can never remember which corner the link's going. Um, but it was a bad idea because if you release a set of assessments which are going to be used for grading unless every single student in the country sits them at exactly the same time like an exam there is no way it is going to be a fair system so um there were many many problems with this um i'm not going to play everything i said in the other video because you can go and watch that other video, you might have already seen it. But there were lots and lots of problems with it. It was an awful idea. It was way, way open to cheating and it was really, really unfair. So Gavin uh, Williamson, the Education Secretary, told the exam boards they had to provide this for free, basically. Um, on top of everything else they were doing. And they were going to be released to everybody just after Easter. So they were released on Monday. Now teachers had these um, of a few weeks beforehand and have been looking at them. And I asked teachers on Twitter if they were going to be using the exam board externally set assessments. And the answer from the ones that I've spoken to was no. Because what they've done, the exam boards, is released a set of past paper questions which were already available on their websites because you can go and download all the past papers. Some of them might have been from old specs which aren't quite so easily available on the internet but you can still find them if you search hard enough. Um, but there was no new questions written, there was nothing um, that we hadn't already seen before. And not all of them were like formatted in a way that was incredibly useful for teachers. So what the majority of teachers that I've spoken to are going to be doing is making up their own assessments, you know, perhaps pulling from past page questions. Most of the exam boards have been in the secure area where you can go kind of like um, a depository of all the exam questions and you can go and build your own exam paper. So that's probably what they're going to be doing. They are not, the ones that I was speaking to, generally going to be using and definitely not solely relying on the um, external assessments that have been released by the exam boards. Now, I completely understand why the exam boards have released a set of past paper questions because they are incredibly busy doing stuff and then they got a whole nother massive got told to do this whole nother massive job um without 
you know, for free, you've got to do this, you've got a very short deadline to, to do this, um, there was no way they were going to get a whole new set of assessments written in time. Um, it takes about 18 months to write an exam paper, to get it checked, and that's why they've gone back and they've re-released old past paper questions. So if your plan for this weekend was to sit and do all of the questions that had been released by the exam boards, I'm going to suggest that you don't do that because it is not necessarily the best use of your time. Doing past paper questions is a brilliant, brilliant thing to do, but you can just go and download the exam papers, which are going to be like, they're going to flow much better because a lot more time and effort went into them. The mark scheme is going to be able to link up much nicer. So that's what I would suggest you do. Or do loads of questions from your workbook or do questions from the workbooks that I have written for you. But actually, using the external assessments that were released on Monday, if you're going to spend your time doing just those, then that might not be the best use of your time. Um, if you know what sort of things your assessments are going to be about, then, you know, I go to the page and you see that massive book over there, that's my maths workbook. If you know that you've got an algebra paper going up, then go and do loads and loads of algebra questions. It's that sort of thing that will be more useful than um, just going and doing all the questions released by the exam boards because chances are they're not going to be the ones that are used by your teacher. So if you do them, go into your assessment expecting to see questions that you've already done them in front of you then that's probably not going to happen and then we don't want that to kind of like um put you off if the questions you're expecting to see in your assessment aren't in your assessment what we need is for you to be able to do questions that you've not seen before and the way that you do that is by doing loads and loads of questions so you become familiar with the material and you can apply it in a new manner so i'm not saying don't do any past paper questions go and download all of the past papers and do the relevant questions and then go and download like my workbooks and do the relevant sections in there on the workbooks you've been given from school and do the relevant sections in there but solely relying on the ones released by the examples might not be the best thing for you um so that is what is happening with that guys um i know this next month is going to be probably absolutely chocker with assessments for you hopefully they'll be a little bit more low-key a little bit more relaxed than um having an actual exam season where everything's sat in the halls and maybe might be in the classroom with your teacher invigilating um so hopefully it won't be too stressful for you um but i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way